You know, this reminds me of a dream I had where I was giving a class presentation, but instead of cheering, everyone was booing me. And the weirdest part was, my classroom was actually a dentist's office. Uh, what? Huh? What the? I didn't conjure that. That's a coincidence, right? Definitely. It has to be. Right, because otherwise, if I said something random like, I don't know, evil cucumber? Huh? What? Hey there, Irene. Time for your yearly checkup. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Dark? No, off limits. You promised to keep him out of my hair. Look, I need to inspire him. And your work's the most inspirational stuff in the whole nighttime. Sorry about the cucumber. Usually. Stop. Don't say one more word. Creating a dream is a very delicate art. That means anything you say or even think could influence the dream. Got it? Anything I think? You thought of something scary, didn't you? What? What did you think of now? Just a kid from my school. Uh, who? <laughs> Vinci Panici! <laughs> the word is confiscated! <laughs> Ryan, oh Ryan! Ryan, oh Ryan! Ryan, oh Ryan! Ah! Ever had a swirly before, oh Ryan? <laughs> I mean, he can't, like, get hurt or anything, can he? No, it's impossible to get hurt in a dream. Oh, well, that's a relief. Unless, of course, he dies. Then he dies in real life. Wait, what? Kid, you need to get out of here or it's going to end very, very badly. I'm very aware of that. Uh, huh? Come on, Orion! Think of something to get us out of here! Oh, come on. Think, think, think. Wait, page 14 of my sketchbook. Clogging the toilet and flooding the entire school. Huh? Extremely lucky. That could have been a disaster. <sighs> but it wasn't a complete disaster. You know why? Because you looked your fears in the eye and showed them what's what. Okay, let's try that again. You know what you do? You just put your hand like this and we... Is it me or am I more excited about this than you are? 